Let's try assigning priorities in with this stereo center. First, we focus on the atoms that are directly connected to the stereo center. So I'll mark those with dots. But those atoms are all carbons. All the directly attached atoms are carbons. So now we're forced to go further out and to see what those atoms are attached to. So now we go further out and see what the directly attached atoms are attached to. And now we're going to uh, introduce a notation that's helpful for doing this. Let's list the three things that each atom is attached to. What are the three things that this carbon is attached to? Three fluorines. Fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. What are the three things that this carbon is attached to? Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. How about this carbon? It's attached to a carbon and two hydrogens. By the way, when you list the three things that the atom is attached to, you should always list them from top priority to bottom priority. You always put the best priorities at the top. So for example, when we make this list, we would not want to write it like this, because that would be putting the hydrogen above the carbon. We should put the carbon at the top of this list because it's the higher priority. And what are the three things that this carbon is attached to? a chlorine and two hydrogens. And again, since the chlorine is the best, it goes at the top of the list. Chlorine, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now we're in a good position to break the tie and to determine which of these molecules has the highest priorities. Uh, which of the, uh, now we're able to uh, determine uh, which of the attached atoms has the highest priorities. Now the way we do that is by looking for the first point of difference in our lists. Um, so let's start at the top of our lists. At the top of our lists, we have carbon, hydrogen, fluorine, and chlorine. Well, chlorine wins, so this group gets the number one priority. Fluorine is best of what remains, so that gets the number two priority. And then carbon beats hydrogen, so this group gets the number three priority, and the group on the right gets the number four priority. So you can see how useful these little lists of three attached atoms are when you're looking to break the tie. This also illustrates that the way we determine the top priority is by using the first point of difference principle. The first point of difference principle. We look at the attached atoms until we find the first point at which they differ. And that determines which gets the higher priority. For example, what's the first point at which this list differs from this list? Well, the first point of difference is that this chlorine um, has a higher priority than the fluorine. So the chlorine gets the number one priority and this gets the number two priority. Notice that we never even looked at the bottom two atoms in the list. Once you get to the first point of difference, you should not look at the remaining atoms in the list. A lot of people misinterpret this. For example, some people think that you're supposed to add up the total atomic numbers of everything in the list. Uh, well, if you did that, it would look like this has the higher priority. I think that if you added the atomic numbers of three fluorines, I think that would probably be more than a chlorine and two hydrogens. But that's not the correct method to use. You don't add up all three atomic numbers. Instead, you just compare the lists at the first point of difference. Here, we just compared the first initial atoms because that's where they differed. And it didn't make any difference that these two fluorines beat these two hydrogens over there. That was not the first point of difference, so we don't use that for assigning the priorities. Well, I definitely recommend that you try to use this notation that I'm illustrating. Uh, so for one thing, it's good to actually use a dot to indicate what atoms you're comparing. And then if you have to move further out, it's very useful to actually physically write down the three atoms that are connected to the initial atom. That makes it much easier to determine the priorities without making mistakes.